In fact, let's pick up that conversation forward. We've got Sanjeev Haseen as well joining in on the show. Sanjeev, uh, hi, morning, a 15% knock on MGL alone. Uh, do you think that this is perhaps a good uh, dip to buy into any of these names? Yeah, good morning. Uh, Aisha, you said a 15% dip, but you didn't say that in the last four months, it's up 50%. <laughs> 900,000 is also at 1550. So yes, uh, now you are aware of some of this uh, uh, government intervention, the price of uh, gas falling sharply overseas, which means ONGC's, uh, uh, you know, subsidy account will get less. So I would rather be with an ONGC. I think City Gas has had a very, very sweet run and you'll need more clarification. They can't be smoked without fire. So there must have been some event which or some uh, diktat which can come on curtailing profitability. As you know, MGL has had a, a dream run with, along with Gujarat Gas because in their respective areas, there is no competitor. And, and we think that uh, maybe the prices had run far in excess. Uh, you also saw, like we were saying in the mid-cap or the uh, semi-mid-cap, there was a large amount of froth which is being corrected. So irrational sell-off will be part and parcel of that. But we are saying ONGC will be the biggest beneficiary purely because gas prices have fallen and now there is no subsidy on passing on of gas, which they which they are the suppliers to the city gas distribution. So ONGC would be our topic over there. Uh, but but the but the next few days, weeks, months belong to banks. And if you re recall, I've been saying private banks <clears throat> are about to make a move. And yesterday was actually the day of the private banks recoming. So we are very bullish on banks. We think the proxy play of weaker dollar, weaker bond yields is all playing out exceptionally well. And banks are going to be the one which are going to lead the market. So bank nifty is where you should be putting your money right now. Absolutely. What a stunning comeback made by private banks, the large ones, ICICI Bank, Kotak, even HDFC Bank, to be fair, has been doing its bit about a half a percent uptick on a daily basis in an otherwise wobbly market. And uh, that was quite the case with ICICI Bank as well. But Sanjeev, would you say stick it out with ICICI Bank or would you say uh, it could be a bigger bottom up move, say in a Kotak or in an HDFC Bank? <clears throat> Aisha, they all will participate, participate. We are aware of the overhang of HDFC that has reduced quite a bit because of the sell-off. And uh, now I think uh, uh, levels of ownership have come down sharply. The smart money has definitely bought that dip. And if anything now, it has to be HDFC. So if you are saying 50,000 is coming on Bank Nifty, then HDFC has to be the primer donor. But don't forget the other banks also. <clears throat> we think some of the mid-cap small banks are now going to be in action. Because RBI itself will be in a mode of, uh, you know, following the Fed over a period of time. Yields are low, inflation is lower. So two banks, which along with HDFC are my topic, is uh, AU Bank uh, in the in the large caps and uh, Dhan Lakshmi and uh, DCB Bank, where promoters have up their stake. They have enough comfort, and I think they can be very very sweet players once the liability franchise evens out. But Bank Nifty is headed to fifty thousand which is evident from the large cap private banks just starting to participate. As we witnessed in trade yesterday. But then let's talk about the stark underperformance, Sanjeev, that we witnessed within the entire FMCG basket, at least on a year-to-date basis. There's been a decline of nearly 6%. Lots of factors attributed to that. But do you believe that this is an interesting opportunity to buy into some of these counters or that the weakness is only going to continue? Yeah, good morning. No, Avan, I think it's a buying opportunity. Well, the worst of the numbers are priced in. You are looking, you are looking at lower input costs, and you are looking at revival of demand. I have never seen the type of spending which has just started. You know, whether it's high-scale entertainment, travel, tourism, and now it will spread to the staple side also. So, you know, two now two stocks which we are very bullish is Bata and Patanjali. We think they can be huge outperformance once we get closer to elections and so on. And these uh, companies which are more into the a distribution mode will have very, very good outlook on the rural India part. So these are two stocks there. FMCG will participate, but right now I would say it's all about banks. And so you've seen the rotation of money. But large cap banks, particularly the private ones, are raring to go. Uh, uh, gold, by the way, has hit a new high along with the uh, uh, Bitcoin. And gold now means that, uh, you know, the likes of Muthut, Manapuram get more market share. And with the asset prices at a new high, their, uh, you know, their, their numbers will be very, very stellar in the new, in the coming quarters.